first at 10, no masks allowed. It's a policy at a restaurant in Rowlett that led to one family being asked to leave. Our Nicole Nielsen spoke to them and the owner about exactly what happened. It was last week when Natalie Wester and her husband went to hang time, a bar and restaurant in Rowlett with a few friends, something they say as new parents they don't do often. So if you've ever been new parents and whatnot, having those couple of hours out like once a month or so is so important for your mental health. They're fully vaccinated, but say they choose to mask up when out to protect their immune compromised four month old. But once inside, our waitress came over, sat down next to me and said, so our manager sent us over because I am nicer than he is. And yes, this is very political, but you need to take your mask off. No masks allowed. It's a policy you don't hear often during the pandemic, but the owner says he considers it part of the dress code. I spent my money on this business. I put my blood, sweat and tears in this business. And I don't want any masks in here. He says it's a private business and he has every right to refuse service to those who want to wear their mask. I feel the overall reaction with the mask is ridiculous in the United States right now. There's no sign. Instead, the hostess tells everyone who wears one they must take them off at the door. So when they put their mask on the other night, they were reminded that they were asked at the front to take it off and they didn't want to, so we asked them to leave. He says he was unaware of her immune compromised son, but that it's a rule they will continue to enforce. Now, we asked a constitutional attorney about the legality of all this, and he says it's a sticky situation. A business has every right subject to the law. A rule can't violate a specific person's health needs as specified under the Americans with Disabilities Act. In Rowlett, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.